Hi all, today I will be showing you about the different types of stitches and decorative stitches of a Kenmore 3A5 series sewing machine. So let's get started. First, if you look right here, you'll see that there are a variety of stitches. If we get a little bit closer, I'm going to explain more in depth. If you look right here, the BH is a buttonhole um, stitch. So you can um, do your buttonholes for one, two, three, and four. So it's four different type of stitches within the buttonhole stitch. And then there's the straight, the zigzag. There's one that looks like a current or something like that. You can have um, another type of zigzag. Um, so there are these different types that you can have. You can have 11 and 12, which are kind of like decorative stitches. So I guess it just depends on what you are doing. And then at the bottom, these brown looking ones are the different type of stretch stitches. So when you're using knit fabrics or whatever, you may want to use like a stretch thread or an elastic thread or something like that. Or you can just use poly cotton or cotton thread and you can do three stitches at one time. You can do um, the zigzag. This will just hold all your knit stitches in your fabric. So if we wanna sew a straight stitch, what we do, so there's a um, wheel here, and this is for if you want to change the type of stitch. So I am on a straight stitch, which is a red one. But if you wanted to do the zigzag, you would just push it um, forward. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, all the way till you get to 12. So that's how you do that. Um, let me explain this a little bit. If you want your length, your stitch length, to be long, then you put it on four. If you want it to be extremely short, then you put it on zero. Now, if you look at the colors here, it will tell you exactly what type of stitch and what type of length you should have. So the red stitches can be between zero and four. If you want to have the decorative stitch, you have to put the length between zero and two um, in order for it to come out like that. And if you want to do the buttonhole stitch, you have to put it between zero and one or it won't stitch it correctly. So if you look up here to width, you have zero to 6.5. So you move the lever here to change the width. And then with the length, you do the same thing. But if you want um, a buttonhole, buttonhole is between three and 6.5 so you in order to do um that type of stitch you have to put the width between that that size um most of your straight stitches um like number one you have to put it on zero zero width in order for it to stitch straight if you want to do like a zigzag or whatever you can put that between zero and three in order for it to stitch the way that you want. But you can always do some practice stitches to see what you like the best and then choose accordingly. Last but not least, if you want to do a stretch stitch um, or use the brown stitches, what you have to do is you have to put your length on. All right, so if you want to put your length, you have to turn it past zero and it'll be on SS. Hopefully you can see that. All right, so you should see SS, and that means it's on stretch stitch, because that's what it stands for. Then you want to, once it's on um, stretch stitch, then it'll be on 1A. So it'll do this one. And then you wanna make sure that, or any of the stretch stitches, you just turn the wheel, and it'll do the brown one instead of the red one. But the length has to be on stretch on SS before it can do anything. So you do that your width for the stretch stitch. It just depends on, um, it's just like with those, it's between zero and three. So just make sure that you put it 
um, try it out first before you really start sewing. I'm going to um, move it back to the proper, to back on three and a half like I usually have it. And I'm going to move this back to one. That's your decorative stitch tutorial. Hopefully that helps. Enjoy and leave me a comment if you desire.